today's world, it is crucial for the U.S. Navy to ensure the freedom of the seas. And this mission starts with the effective training of our sailors. SEAT is the Combined Integrated Air and Missile Defense Anti-Submarine Warfare Trainer. It's a full integrated ship simulation. By bringing our crews into the SEAT, we're able to exercise them in reps and sets against high-end threats, in very challenging environments uh, in a way that we've never been able to do before. SEAT's unique because of its ability to conduct full tactical training with real tactical software. The old way of training a ship's combat systems had to be available. Ships may be limited in that ability to plan and practice because of maintenance. You're able to do more here because you don't have the outside uh, obligations that you would have on the ship. There's no maintenance being run in your space. There's no competing events, no main space fire drills or anything like that that are going to get in the way of us fulfilling what we are here to do, which is to train. Since the trainer is a tactical code based system that uh, runs the same tactical software as on the ship, to them, it's like they're on their ship, they're on deployment, and they're fighting the ship for real. You can see it in its very design. Every square inch is built to replicate the warship. Whether it's a DDG or a cruiser, it can be reconfigured to match what your ship has. And it's fully integrated. So if you use the closed-in weapon system or SeaWiz or the guns console, you're actually able to integrate in now with the full larger Aegis suite. We are seeing multiple propagation paths. We're seeing multiple contacts, a higher fidelity overall of sound quality, and we're seeing more modernized and true contacts to what we would see in the real world. Our threat platforms are based on Office of Naval Intelligence data for surface, subsurface, and air defense, ballistic missile defense contacts. Then you have your threats that come in and you see them and they're very realistic, modeled after the actual missiles, so it really prepares you on threat recognition. On board your ship, you're not able to interface your soft kill and your hard kill options. If you shoot a missile as a watchstander, you're not able to see the effects as it would pair with some of your soft kill options. Here you're able to do that. You run through the same scenarios and uh, compound on those to make them from easy to difficult. So you throw them some easy scenarios, they build on that and they apply those lessons learned and then we keep making it harder and more difficult and more difficult. And before you know it, they're combating multiple threats from different angles. When it's all said and done, we're able to pull together all the communications, pull together all the console actions, and then they present it back to us in a full screen debrief. And you're able to actually close that feedback loop immediately. When you observe something significant happening in the scenario, you can drop a bookmark, and then as you go into debrief, instead of fast forwarding through a four hour scenario, you can jump directly to a bookmark, which captures the event worth debriefing. The SEAT is gonna provide capability to get ready for the fight like never before. It prepares them, no matter how challenging the environment or how challenging the threat. You are really deeply immersed in the environment. You see missiles going off, you see effects of weather, you see clutter everywhere. You, sometimes you feel like you're getting so immersed in it and then you realize that, oh yeah, we're in a training environment. As a warfare tactics instructor, I'm personally committed to giving the waterfront training that is both realistic and relevant. Here at SEAT, I feel like we're achieving both of those objectives. The scenario is always changing, the threat is always adapting, and it forces us to grow and to mature as a watch team moving forward.